Hello, so this time I'll talk about arrays and tables and how to uh, access their data and uh, how to work with a uh, simple for loops. If you want to find the uh, text uh, tutorial, uh, you can find it down in the description. I made it as well. Uh, if you have any questions or uh, you're not sure about something, just uh, join my Discord and ask questions. Uh, there. So, uh, I just created a new uh, resource called My Array um, in the FX manifest. I'll just add that in the client script. Um, and then here I'm gonna create a uh, local number number array and uh, just empty for now uh, so basically uh, initiation for uh, arrays or tables is exactly the same but if you add a uh, key name for a uh, for any element in the array that's gonna automatically become a uh, uh, table so for now let's just put a few values into it uh, 5.6, uh, 8, and 12, let's see. And if I would like to, um, oh, so basically, in another programming languages, um, the elements uh, would have uh, key values or, um, I mean, keys or uh, IDs from zero upwards in Lua it's a bit different it's from one upwards so this would be element number one number two number three number four number five if I would like to uh, see the element uh, so if I would like to see element number three I could uh, just use print uh, number three, uh, three. I'll just restart uh, and there you go you can see that is 5.6 uh, just as it is one two third uh, element uh, obviously I can do the same with others but if I would do something like 7 which is out of the range that is gonna return me nil because that does not exist there's also a way uh, to uh, uh, print out is by using uh, json.encode json uh, encode prints it in json format which is a uh, format to store um, different values um, sometimes used for parameters to settings um, in a uh, and it stores in string basically so I am able to uh, print that out uh, in string as you can see here each of the element is printed like separately if I would try to do that without JSON uh, encode that would just give me a table basically it would say that it is a table but it's not gonna give me any values it's not gonna say what it has okay so what I would have to do to access each of the element uh, separately and do maybe use it for something or do some modifications for it uh, what I could do is I could use for loop uh, uh, i is equal to 1 and then oopsie daisy and then I would uh, use a hash symbol number of uh, array and uh, I would print number ray i so that is going to go through um, for loop is going to increase i by one each step and like that we're going to uh, uh, get uh, element of number array uh, until it reaches the uh, last digit basically because this is the size of the um, of the array so if I would just uh, print that you would see 5 because that is the size of the array uh, I'll just do that for now and if I would do that I would see printed I would get printed each of the elements separate 
For example, I say, let's say I want, um, I'll just just sign and code it and code a uh, number array. Let's say I would like to add uh, a number three to each of the element. So I could do that uh, plus three. Uh, oopsie daisy is equal number array i plus three. And that would add uh, three to each of the element as you can see. Uh, I could also use it to like calculate some of uh, each of the elements. Uh, let's create a new variable called sum, and then uh, here let's say sum is equal to sum plus number number array i, and that would uh, oops, easy, I forgot to print out the sum. And that would print out the sum for me, which is 31.6. Probably it is. I'll trust the computer this time. There's another way to write the for loop, which would be uh, using uh, i pairs or pairs. For that, uh, you might sometimes see uh, using uh, key and we, key comma we. Uh, I'll just use key, like actual key, what it actually represents, and value, uh, value, in i pairs uh, number array do end. Uh, what that does is each step it goes through the for loop, it is gonna get a key and a value uh, from this. So key is uh, ID of the uh, each of the elements. So that would be one, two, three, four, five. And uh, value is gonna be what value element actually has. So let's say print key uh, value. That is gonna print me uh, one, two, three, four, five. And each of the uh, elements as well. What is interesting and what you should know about um, i pairs is that it is not gonna return um, elements that have uh, key names for them. Let's say I'll add key name is equal to five or let's do something different that we don't have yet, zero. So that is just gonna get the elements until this, and it's not gonna get um, and it's not gonna get element that has a key name. It's because I think that stands for i pairs stands for integer pairs, or something like that, which means it doesn't get the um, the elements that have uh, values. Uh, I mean, keys as a string, if that makes sense. Um, so if I would do that, I would only see these five elements printed out uh, using this. As you can see, and I'm not getting the zero one. One more thing is I, I if I do this, you would see that it is printed slightly differently than it was printed before. Just because, like I said, if I add a name to it, it becomes a table. Uh, so it's a bit uh, different data type, even though it doesn't make too much of a difference, but yeah. If if I would like to access this one, uh, the key name, I could instead of using uh, number array uh, and number, I think I won't access that using by using six because that is uh, because um, uh, oopsie daisy. Yeah, that is going to say nil because uh, element number six is nil and element uh, that has key name is zero. So yeah, that's something you should keep in mind. But if I'd like to access it, 
I would have to put dot uh, key name and as you can see it printed out zero I'll just comment this for now so they don't uh, mess up but yeah that is zero which is a value of that there is another way another uh, for uh, type of for loop that would let me to access that and that would be in pairs so then key value is gonna be anything including string key values so now if I restart it as you can see I get the element which has key name and the value of zero which is this last one and which we have not accessed before by using i pairs uh, if you would like to change some of the values here you won't be able to do anything by using uh, value for example is equal to 5 because value is just a local variable uh, which uh, has the value of uh, array and it does not return it or put it back to the number array so if I would use that uh, oops, JSON encode I forgot to add uh, this one and now I can see that it does not change any of the um, values what I would have to do instead is I would have to uh, say number array and key which means that uh, this key is pointing to each of the array elements and then as you can see five 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 each of the element is becoming five what is good about tables is that uh, name of uh, key name is uh, returned as a string which means that if I would decide to create a uh, uh, table let's say items is equal to uh, let's say beer is equal to five and then bread is equal to six and then I would be able to if I would like to give these items uh, five beers and six uh, breads uh, to a person to a player I would just be able to use that uh, by using value I mean by using key as a name of uh, as a name of item and uh, num uh, and number five as a uh, amount of how many beers I would like to give him but uh, I think I'll do another video about uh, how to add some actual functionality to um, these sort of uh, things. Uh, I think I used... Uh, when I was making a video of uh, how I was creating uh, treasures script, I think I used some of the four loops. Uh, yeah, I used uh, I used for loops a couple of times uh, for the boxes uh, and all of that. Uh, so yeah, if you'd like to check that out, obviously it's a really long video, but I'm trying to explain some stuff in there, and I think people were saying that it helps a lot uh, to learn stuff and to uh, learn how to make useful resources. So if you want to check that video, you can go to my description. It's sorry to my yeah. Maybe I'll leave it in the description as well. But uh, you can go have a look at my channel and uh, watch the video. So thank you for watching this one. Uh, I will uh, really appreciate if you subscribe, like, and if you have any questions, join my Discord. And yeah.